welcome to another WYS by Adam Lesh. Today I want to talk about this incredible feature that I've known about for a while but I haven't used before. And my robot vacuum cleaner here, Lucy, has this feature. It's called the mopping feature and I want to show you how to use this thing on your Roborock. Before we delve further into this topic, I want to clarify that this robot vacuum cleaner, this particular model, is the Roborock S50, which has been there for a long time, and it's a discontinued model. It is from Xiaomi, and it's a Roborock model. It has 2,000 pascals suction power, and it has a 5,200 milliamp per hour battery. It's really nice, it still works, but I gotta say that since 2018, a lot has changed in this space in the vacuum slash mopping technology space. And now you've got the Roborock S7, which is a brand new vacuum cleaner with sonic mopping, the so-called sonic mopping feature, which is incredible. So you can scrub and it has vibrations. It effectively mops the floor using these vibrations, so-called deep cleaning. So we've come a long way since my version, since my model. It's got something called sonic vibration technology, which is about 3000 vibrations per minute. And that somehow eliminates the dirt and stains on your carpet and on your hardwood. It also has a detection technology, sonic detection technology. This is the S7 we're talking about. And it intelligently lifts the mop when you don't need to, to use it on a carpet. So that lifts the mop and it does all of this automatically. It's pretty intelligent. It's got an upgraded floating brush and it's got 2,500 pascals of suction power, which is 500 more than my model. But I still think that my model with 2,000 pascals is more than enough for everyday tasks. Now, again, this is the most sophisticated model from Roborock. It's just been released in March. This is the absolute best that you got for a hybrid vacuum slash mopping robot. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is remove the water tank from the robot vacuum cleaner. As you can see, that is the cover where you can pour the water. So first of all, you've gotta remove the water tank, pour this water, and by the way, Roborock refers to this as a double cleaning process and the filter is so-called root inspired. So the first thing you gotta do is fill it with water. And once you fill it with water, this thing can mop the floor constantly for about 45 to 60 minutes, but it's recommended to change or to add water every 30 minutes. The Roborock S50 has an intelligent root planning software. It's got a laser sensor. It's got a laser distance sensor, an LDS, that allows the robot to scan its surroundings at 360 degrees and at 1,800 times per second. And by the way, that is with the simultaneous localization and mapping algorithm that can map out the entire interior of your home and then provide real-time planning routes. Anyway, this model is discontinued, but it's still impressive after all these years. I mean, it's got a two centimeter obstacle climbing. It's got a two millimeter rubber bump, 360 degrees LDS pressure sensor. It's got an anti-drop stair sensor, four sensors actually, a laser edge sensor and all these things. And a, and a large 5,200 milliamp per hour battery, which ensures about two and a half or two hours of cleaning for a house that is about 250 square meters in full charge. So we're talking about a very capable robot vacuum cleaner, but the purpose of this video is to show you that the mopping feature actually works. It's an incredible feature that you can use along with the sweeping feature. I mean, look at that. I just let the vacuum cleaner, I just let it mop the balcony and it did an excellent job. I can't see any more dust or any more dirt. I just did that brief test. And you can see from this part of the video, you can see the water stains right there. That is the mopping feature in action. Roborock refers to this as a, a sort of a controlled water flow, like the roots of a tree. That's how it refers to it. The new models, like the S7, are much more advanced with the larger capacity tanks and a true hybrid systems there. You can see all the dirt <laughs> that's been generated by mopping. Again, there's the test. And if I want to show you a real comparison, I mean, this is after cleaning the floor. Let's go to these areas, these blind spots. I put that table on purpose so that it doesn't clean those areas and I shifted, I moved that table. So you can see the dust in that, in that particular area, all that dust. You see the difference? 
And this happens every day if you don't clean your balcony. And by the way, this, this is just outdoor cleaning. Of course, you can use this for indoors. There's, there's all the dust and the dirt, and you can see the difference. Look at that mop. <laughs> that mop is dirty, and you can easily take it off. It's washable. You can clean it. And by the way, you can also change the filter element if it turns yellow. Um, that you can notice that if there's no water or if, if little water comes out of it I'll show you what that means in a bit so you can easily take it out you can wash it with soap or some sort of detergent that's one of the best things and by the way these parts are also replaceable so if you want to buy new parts you can buy new parts but remember this is the older model I'm not sure if they still sell these parts anymore I think it came with one more additional spare part but you get the picture this thing works it's great you can do it by yourself. You can easily wash the mop. And this is what I was talking about, the filter element. And this thing can turn yellow um, if there's no water or if there's, if there's a little water that comes out of it. So you can change this filter element as well. And this is what Xiaomi calls the root inspired living organism. <laughs> That's how it works. Again, the S7 must be a hundred times better than this one, but I can't believe the fact that this thing works so well. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy your mopping slash vacuuming every day. <laughs>